Master Kenny Hu from goodfengshui.com, thank you for talking to me. Um, I, I guess if you can, t- tell us how, how people should use feng shui to create better wealth in their lives. Okay, wealth actually is the most basic human needs, right? So without uh, wealth, so in terms of like uh, lifestyle, so not so good, every day we'll be living in worries. Uh, by having wealth, better, right? Then people will tend to, I mean, sleep well, eat well, right? Healthier. Then you enhance their, for example, their environment. <clears throat> Eventually, people are having greater wealth also, they'll be able to help others. So by helping others, we create a better society. Eventually, I mean, just like in, in, in return, like, there'll be more people, right? To be encouraged to have better wealth and also eventually can help others. This is actually the philosophy of good feng shui as well. Uh, just like the Chinese culture, right? When we are better, uh, better in terms of the basic needs, in terms of the wealth, in terms of the environment, you will be able to help others as well. So eventually the whole society to be better. So of course, when people talking about feng shui or good feng shui, you think straight away, how can you advise uh, us, for example, <clears throat> to give some tips, right? To create, it, to create this uh, better wealth or career. <clears throat> when we talk about wealth, can be career, uh, can be business. So yeah, true enough. In terms of the uh, good feng shui, uh, so-called uh, methodology, right? <clears throat> Actually, we can do very customized. Uh, uh, so-called function, functionally, uh, I mean, in terms of fun, very functional effect. <clears throat> For example, some of the qi, right? Feng shui is all about the management of the qi. We need to understand, for example, in this current year, well, which sector are the good qi, which sector are having a lot of negative qi. So feng shui is all about, in Chinese, we say qi ji bi xiong. Okay, we approach the positive qi and avoid the negative qi. So the positive chi uh, you, in this year, 2021, uh, after entering to February the 3rd uh, from 10.59 p.m., actually the chi, there will be a very unique con- uh, distribution of the chi. The good chi actually, chi actually some people uh, label it or name it as the energy uh, or the forces. The positive chi are located in the south, in the uh, center, in the northeast, and also uh, in the this one the uh, 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 the the west as well. So these are the few sector, very important sector that we have to identify, right? How to identify? Uh, feng shui is all about relativity studies. So when when a space is surrounded by four walls, there will be very unique combination of the chi. To make it easier, some of the books or some function master will tell, okay, this set of chi is labeled by numbers. Okay, the number of chi, like for example, number one, number nine, number six, number eight are the positive chi. So the, with reference to the center of the house, we take, let's say, the ground floor or the first floor. From the center, we, we use a compass to see where the north is. Then from the north, we know relatively, right? This, uh, the, for example, where is the south, where the... Uh, West, where the northeast are, <clears throat> then we know uh, these are the good sector. Firstly, in, in order to create or accumulate more positive chi, these few sector must be neat and tidy. That's the basic, yeah, the most basic requirement of prerequisites that everyone should do. That means in the house, in the in the center, in the south sector, in the northeast sector, and also in the uh, this uh, west sector. We must make it neat and tidy and also make it airy, make it bright. Some people, for example, there's a room in the northeast sector, nobody uses it, so every day close it. Uh, in order not to have dust, they cover, uh, close the window, uh, close the curtain. Actually, that is not very good because the chi is located there, it's very good. But however, because the door is closed, the chi cannot be like no, no, no activation. So it will not create any positive uh, so-called uh, effect for the house, for the family members. Similarly, in the office as well. Yeah, these few sectors must be neat and tidy. Don't put a lot of so-called unused or old stuff there. Uh, make, it, uh, make it more usable. For example, to purposely create maybe uh, a discussion area in these few sectors, especially okay, in terms of the functions, in terms of wealth, right? There are two major wealth sectors. The first one is the West sector. The other one is the Northeast sector. These are very important. Okay, in our house or in the office. In these two sectors, firstly, if possible, over the, I mean, throughout the whole year, 
try to spend more time uh, occupying these two sectors, either it's a bedroom or a living hall, or you purposely or we purposely <clears throat> put a study table there, put a discussion table there uh, to sit there or do quotation, do discussion, uh, do this kind of Zoom meeting. Uh, that will be very good. <clears throat> so if possible, try to uh, expose ourselves I mean, in these two sectors. If so happen, <clears throat> the main door is also located in either of these sectors. Congratulations. The whole year round will be very smooth in terms of the uh, wealth creation, in terms of the wealth accumulation. Uh, if the main door of the office or the main door of, or the, of the house <clears throat> are located either in the northeast sector or in the, in the west sector, that will be very good. Some people may ask, oh, my house, main doors, is not located in either, I mean, neither of this uh, uh, sector. How? Okay, if possible, uh, in these two sectors, maybe it's not at, I mean, in the main door is not, not over there, nor the living hall, nor the, the bedroom. Okay, don't worry. Let's say if it's in, a, in a, one of the corner of the house or in, the, in, in another room, right? That's why I say, try to uh, make it neat and tidy. And if possible, maybe you can put uh, more of the, for example, uh, uh, positive thinking kind of uh, pictures. Uh, some of the uh, uh, some people like to put statues, uh, set statues, uh, for example, or painting. Uh, those painting can create having the very positive meanings or some motivational uh, meanings about uh, wealth creation. Uh, can be put it there, put in the north east sector or put in the west sector. That will be I mean can at least can create a lot more positive chi specifically to create wealth. Especially in the northeast sector, besides creating uh, a better wealth, it, it will be able to help in terms of uh, to create a better uh, educational or academic, or academic uh, achievement for the children as well. And that will also make uh, the adults to be smarter as well. Okay? That will also, in the northeast sector, if you are able to activate it by putting some of the positive things, make it neat and tidy, uh, put more, especially put more reddish color items there, creative items there. It can also further enhance the whole family members' uh, health status as well. So everyone will be healthier. So health is very important, especially after entering to uh, I mean, 2020 until lately, right? <clears throat> and the other sector, the West sector, is also another very important wealth sector in the year of 2021. So the West sector also similarly, uh, we have, if possible, try to spend more time there. For example, it could be in the, for example, in the living hall or study room or an unused room. If it's located in the west sector, make it neat and tidy, put the table there, try to spend more time there, do our work there, working from home or study from home. Uh, we can do it from that particular sector. That will be very good. Can create more chi, can create a more so-called, at least can have more, uh, uh, more motivational feeling. So this is uh, actually very simple. Of course, there could be some of the uh, Feng Shui master. <clears throat> they may have some other like gadgets, uh, some maybe crystal statues. Uh, I mean, no harm doing that, right? As long as we can decorate it nicely. Of course, <clears throat> the other point is very important in these two sectors. We cannot put anything like sharp thing uh, beside the messy and dirty things, right? Or the old things or unused things. Anything sharp to be put like knives, uh, uh, like whatever sword, all this thing, right? should not be put in these two sectors. Otherwise, the wealth luck will be cut off or cut away. So we must make it neat and tidy and then nothing sharp over in these two sectors. That is very important. Okay, so that's orientation, right, in the house. Um, how about where should one face when one is working? Or what about when one is sleeping? How should, how should they face? Okay, in terms of feng shui implementation, in order to determine where one should face or sleep, of course, the better way will be based on their favorable elements, based on their parts. Uh, however, not everyone will be having the chance, right, to meet with someone or engage someone, a Feng Shui master to come to the house to, to do this kind, this kind of advice. Basically, for everyone, when we are sitting, right, if possible, the back right, should be having a solid wall. Instead of, let's say, at the back, there's a door. <coughs> door means we, they will make us to become like very easily to be defocused from our work, uh, especially for example, some people they invest from home, right? Doing trading uh, from home. So should there be any defocus or disturbances or potential dis disturbance from the back? Maybe it can, I mean, give them, <clears throat> can cause them to, to misjudge, okay? Then this may uh, create some kind of losses. 
So basically, when we are sitting, behind should be a solid wall, nothing behind, right? So that we can be rest assured that everything is stable. Mm -hmm. In front, we can see far, of course, usually in the room, right? Let's say in the, in the, in the I mean, study room, office room, the corner, 45 degree, I mean, uh, diagonally from the door, for office door or the, the bedroom door, uh, is the place that where that's where the chi can be accumulated. Usually, we prefer to put the table there and then facing maybe uh, diagonally or facing. I mean, the uh, the, the the door. That means when we are sitting, we are able to see the door instead of the door behind us. That's one of the very basic ones, basic uh, idea. The other one about the bed, right? Uh, we should not. Of course, a lot of people know that we should not face to the mirror. Even the mirror from the sideway also should not. Uh, the blade also or the bed also cannot be pointing to the toilet door as well. So basically the bed, right, should not be under a window, should be uh, the bed headboard uh, should be leaned against uh, a solid wall. That is the very basic idea. Of course, when the Feng Shui master come to the house, come to the office, right, to do a more detailed calculation or a suggestion, that will require uh, to do a detailed calculation based on their uh, the puzzle, the puzzle that means based on the, the elements in their birthday and time, that would be more customized. I see, I see. Okay, fascinating stuff.